What's up guys? Here we have 1991 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome. I'm going to be showing you how to take off the lower 90 moldings, wheel well trim, the door moldings, the lower rocker moldings. It's a 50,000 mile car that we're going to freshen up. As you can see, the moldings are kind of faded. The car's in very nice shape. So we're prepping it for paint and the right way to do it is to remove these moldings. So it could be done in under an hour. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get these lower rockers off. The long ones, Phillips head screws, front and back door jam and underneath this molding you have seven millimeters all running along the rocker for as far as the the door moldings you're gonna have these little uh, acorn I believe they're uh, 11 millimeter 11 or 13 I'll let you know Phillips heads for the wheel lip rocker in the rear is all clips same for the front door you got your little acorn nuts there's also two in on the front side both front and rear doors okay so you got four total per door and once this lower rocker's off there's two phillips heads to take off this it's guys it's really simple really simple um so stay tuned and take them off right now. Okay, so we got the door moldings off, fender molding off, lower rocker trim off. Now, usually the hardest part is getting uh, little Phillips heads all underneath the rocker. It's usually caked with dirt and rust. And um, I'm gonna show you a little trick. What works well for me, how I take this molding off. Also very helpful if you have something uh, like this right here. Uh, a little screwdriver helps you get in for the two bottom ones here. And especially for this one right there. If you don't have something like this, you're going to have to take the tire and wheel off or find like a right angle screwdriver. So, um, also a lot of times these screws are, like I said, really, really in there, really hard to get out through the years. A lot of people, don't, they don't take these moldings off. So what I like to do is you get a, uh, like a little chisel and a hammer. And what you want to do is get a chisel right there on the edge of that head see right there and give it a couple shots with your hammer sometimes you'll even see the screw move a little bit and what you're doing there is you're just freeing up uh, the screw with the rust and breaking breaking it loose and usually it comes right out afterwards so you know try to get right in there between the edge of the screw and the trim without damaging the trim obviously and uh, give it a couple shots with your hammer all right here we go.
Okay, so here's uh, all the tools you're gonna need to take off the 90 side trim. Uh, drill, screwdriver, Phillips head, whatever. Whatever you have, whatever you prefer. We got this little right angle for the wheel lip molding, clear the wheels, the hammer and chisel for the Phillips head screws and the wheel lip. The little acorn nuts here um, that hold on the moldings from the back side of the door is a 13. And you do need a long extension to get for the, uh, the two on the front. And the seven millimeter here for the rocker, lower rocker screws underneath. And there you have it. We got all our hardware, clips are all off. Moldings are all off. Did find a little surprise here. When the clips come off with the molding. It's usually a problem. But there you have it. Not too bad. Very easy. A lot of people think it's a lot of work. Um, if you know what you're doing, and you have the right tools, very easy. Hopefully this helps somebody out. I appreciate the uh, viewing.